there was a moment of hesitation in speaking about the shamanic stuff and like i i caught it before i even like before i even brought it up earlier in the conversation like like as soon as i knew this was about to come up there was this moment of oh do i really want to say this and it happened so fast and it kind of like for me it's that fear of being um fear of being imprisoned that mm. comes up, the fear of being trapped and there's this fear that if i speak about this stuff that i'm going to be ostracized or outcast or imprisoned or even killed because you know, there's plenty of stories of that happening to other people mm. um and so that moment of hesitation came up and then well, okay what's the real fear well the real fear, real fear is dying like that's always what it comes down to is 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 fear of, of the unknown or fear of dying which are kind of the same thing to me um and then the question that came up on the show when we talked last week well what exactly is dying that we're so scared of and like we feel so, mm. so need to, needed to avoid I don't know, but I know that we're all going to get there eventually. So there's no point in like being scared of it. Like if, if that's my way to go, then I'm just going to go. Mm -hmm. Like if, if this conversation brings up something that someone else hears that scares them so much, they feel the need to come and kill me for whatever reason. Well, then that was my journey. And <laughs> I guess I'll find out what's next after that. <laughs> Well, I don't want you to get killed from talking about something crazy or what you're into. Um, <laughs> shit, Matt. Um, I'll tell you where I'm coming from and asking this um, and, and what I'm asking uh, about shamanics or any kind of stuff that you're into is I, in the last couple of years, have been using um, plant medicine as some therapy. And I've had some really, I guess it's kind of where a lot of this stuff like really transpired, like clicked for me. And for me, that was 5-MeO-DMT um, and doing that in ceremony. Um, I've only done it twice and I've been interested, you know, I, I've taken some uh, psilocybin journeys that were really um this is not a recreational situation. You know, this is in ceremony. This is um, with, with, uh, with shamans. Um, and uh, it was, there's nothing to describe it. There's really nothing. And so when you brought that up, I was like, oh, maybe Matt knows a little bit about this because it's such a sacred thing um, that I find myself frustrated, disappointed, um, when I try to talk to people about this that don't know what I'm talking about and don't understand the experience and have like these really shitty, like, uh, uh, surface re like responses, you know, like, Oh, was it crazy? Like, yeah, bro, it was fucking nuts. Like, no, it's not like that. It is a, it's indescribable. So do you have experience with plant medicines? Yeah. Are you so I've, uh, ayahuasca four times san pedro twice and several psilocybin journeys damn that's uh, awesome and it's funny too because like I, the the people who i got to study with um plant medicine was either not necessary to them or just a mm -hmm. method of last resort. Mm. Um, and I understand that. Like, I'm very curious about the 5-MAO DMT. Like, that's the one that I, love I have been... It. Yeah. I have not gotten access to it yet. And it's come up a couple of times. I have a feeling that I'm going to get a chance to try it. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've done DMT. I've, I've actually just done straight, just smoked it. Um, and that was not anything like what i imagined it would be like people talk about blasting off and like they call it the god molecule and like meeting god and like so it's a synthetic dmt is synthetic 5meo is it secreted off the back of a frog called the bufo frog so it comes from an animal so so what you experience is like made like someone made it essentially 
So there's a big difference. <laughs> there's yeah. a huge difference. Okay, go ahead about your sense. about your experience. Yeah, that 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 makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I do know that it's possible to reach the states that plant medicines can bring you to without the plant medicines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I feel like Terrence McKenna said it best. He said plant medicines are a shortcut. And mm -hmm. right now, maybe that's what we need. 